Welcome to the studio, everybody. How many of you guys need a little extra coffee here in Kansas City after last night's football game? Yeah. Yeah. That was a, was a great ending. So I'm like, why is my phone buzzing? I just got an alert that Orgies just went live on YouTube. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Let's drink some coffee. Let's wake up. Happy Monday, everybody. I am live here at the Liberty Studio with our Monday morning tradition of just talking to you about what's going on in all of the classes here in both of our studios. So if this is a new routine for you and you don't normally join here on Monday mornings, I'll introduce myself. My name is Allison Jensen. I'm the owner of Orange Easel School of Art. We are a children's art studio located in the Kansas City Metro with two locations in the Northland, one in downtown Liberty, which is where I am, and then one out in Pet Woods. So we have classes that go on. We have sewing classes, we have multimedia classes, and we have drawing classes. We also have preschool classes um, for both our toddlers and for our, our kind of three to five age, okay? Um, and this is my live video because parents drop their kids off to us every week. God bless you. And we get to make art with them. And you don't always get to see what we do in class because it takes a while for us to get through a project because we like to take our time in here and do a lot of introspection and discussion and critique and talking about our art um, instead of just, you know, turning out project after project after project. So you may not see what they do every single week. So I'd like to be able to, to talk to you about that. So we're going to do that. I've got all my post-it notes lined up here. There's quite a few of them. Um, it is the end of January. So it's week four. Um, and so we'll talk through kind of where everybody's at. I did pull a couple examples just to show you for our fourth, fifth middle school, high school multimedia classes. So you can see where they are. I didn't pull the young ones. This is the K1 second thirds because they're really big. Ginormous. And I just didn't want to. So, yeah. All right, let's start with drawing though. Should we draw drawing? This is my first poster here. So our drawing classes, we have three different types. We have drawing 101, just for the younger kids. And then once they get a little bit older, we let them choose. You wanna go drawing 102 advanced realistic? where we really work on powers of observation and drawing things realistically? Or do you want to go more towards the comic style? Comic, manga, anime, cartooning. So two different kind of paths there. <coughs> our Drawing 101 class and our Drawing 102 Advanced Realistic are both going to be working again with the same basic invitation. Um, and this, this really, the month of January for them, has been a back to basics kind of lesson, right? We've been building still lifes, working on our powers of observation. We've been building with blacks. Um, and, and we're and like working on rendering something in three dimensions, seeing the, the proper perspective, seeing the proper scale, putting that down on paper the right way, adding in shadings and values with um, both charcoal, pencil and ink. Um, and now this week, this week, we kind of bring it all together. We're going to do a little bit more challenging subject matter. We're going to do a fruit still life, which is a classic, right? Bowl of fruit. So we'll, add, we'll have some pieces of actual fruit here in the studio for them to look at and use their eyeballs because that's one of our most important art tools. And they'll look at that and then they will render it onto their paper. Um, we've been working in mostly black and white. Tonight, they will get to, tonight, tomorrow night, the rest of the week, they'll get the chance to, um, to actually use some color. So your instructor might use chalk pastels or oil pastels or even markers, although that's less common. That's more kind of in our um, anime style classes. Um, but one of the two, 102 Advanced Realistic might get out kind of the alcohol ink markers just depends on the instructor and the interest level of the kids. But they will get a chance to work with color, which is something we did not do last semester. So it's kind of their first introduction of color theory um, and drawing in color. So we're excited to get to introduce that to them with, a, again, the same principles we've been working on all month long and, a, and a still a very basic still life because we don't want to like jump to a really complicated subject matter and introduce something new. So that's what's going on in drawing 101 and drawing 102 advanced realistic. You're drawing one or two comic and anime classes. They have been working, again, kind of back to basics. Um, and they developed some characters in the first week, those chibi animals, very simple, cutesy, artsy animal characters. Then they, they took that character and they turned them into a story and they built themselves their first comic strip. Um, and then they took that and we we added text to it, right? So last week we learned um, kind of some, some visual text and some onomatopoeia, which they loved. And now this week, we're going to start um, kind of putting it all together. So they're going to actually design a cover for that little mini comic strip that they made. So I'm um, kind of putting everything together. Um, and then next week, next like 
first week of February, they'll dive into something new. Okay. So it's a really great kind of ending to our basics lesson to kick off the month of um, January in the new semester. My sewing classes, sewing classes, we're making cute little adorable plushy penguins. Now, sewing classes, everyone else is wrapping up this week because it's the fourth, excuse me, it's the fourth week of January and we like to try to wrap a project before we start a new one. Um, sewing classes, you guys are a week behind because of, um, we had to cancel because of instructor illness a couple weeks ago. So we're, we're running just a little behind. We're also starting a new semester. So we have a lot of beginner sewers who have never touched a machine. So we don't have a lot to show you today. Our goal when we canceled that class a while ago was to be able to still finish on track. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I went back and I kind of looked at the stuff tomorrow. I'm actually, or today, I'm actually subbing your class for tomorrow because um, Miss Liz has a prior engagement. So she and I are going to meet today and kind of figure out where we're at. I'm not sure if we will be able to finish. If you've taken the classes before, so you have kids that are like advanced sewers, they were with us last semester, or they were with us last year, they can probably get it done. However, my newbies that just started two weeks ago, I don't think we're going to finish. So um, we're going to we're gonna do our darndest. We're going to work really hard for 90 minutes tomorrow night to see how far we get on those plushy penguins. Whatever we don't get done, um, parents, you will get an email from me with different makeup options. So I know that like, obviously, we have our regular makeups on Wednesday nights. Um, so those will be an option for you. But we want to give you more options for that, too. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about maybe extending. I got to meet with Liz about this. But maybe extending our Tuesday class for people who just want to stay a little bit longer next week so that we can finish up the Penguin Project. Um, or looking at maybe, like, a Saturday if anybody has, like, you know, your weekdays just, they just don't work for you. Um, maybe, like, a Saturday morning where we have a lot of availability um, in that small room classroom on Saturdays. It's just a matter of working with instructor schedules on that. So just know we'll get you done. I promise. Okay. Keep plugging away all those beginner sewers. I'm going to drink some coffee. Let's talk multimedia. Yeah. All right. So multimedia classes are doing acrylic paint month because we switch our media every month, right? So this is acrylic. <coughs> On you guys, this cough is killing me. So these are my canvases for my older kids. And I want to show you what they're doing. So they're doing pet portraits. A lot of them have brought in reference photos of either their dog or their cat or whatever animal they have at home. And then some of our kids have printed out Google images of, you know, a parrot. They don't actually have a parrot at home, but it seemed like a fun thing to paint. So Whatever animal they brought, we're looking for a portrait. So shoulders, neck, head, and up. Right? They had to draw it on the canvas. They had to start painting in their backgrounds. And then last week, they started blocking in. So they started identifying where the dark parts and the light parts of their picture were. And they had to do a ton of color mixing. We're also working as best as possible to avoid using black. Now, there's going to be parts of our animal that are black, of course. But if it was just for a shadow, maybe we could mix the complementary color with it instead of black. Um, so you can see the shadows on this adorable little pug is not black. It's a really dark forest green, which I love. Okay. Um, so we started this one here. We've got lots of tints and shades going on. Now, these pictures are going to look really flat right now. They're going to look really blocky, and they're going to look really flat. But they've got to get that whole first layer on before we start building more layers and start adding texture, right? Because this is not a flat animal. This is a furry animal. So, so we'll work on that this week. Some of our kids will finish this week. Some of our kids will not because everybody paints at different paces. So um, if your child is one of those that paints just a little bit slower, um, or maybe they took longer to draw it out on their canvas, or maybe they took a little bit longer on their, why do I feel like I'm out of focus? There I am. Okay. Um, took a little bit longer on their color mixing. Um, it, everybody just works at a different pace. So that is A-OK. -okay. Um, and that's what Wednesday nights are for. So your kids can come in on Wednesday night and paint. Actually, they're our favorite kind of kids to come in because at that age and, and when they're already just, they've already got the lesson, they don't need anything from us except for the space, the time, and the materials. So we'll come in, we'll set them up, and they can just paint to their heart's content. Okay. Um, it's just kind of extra studio time for them. So feel free to make a reservation for that. If your kid needs 
if they say that they need more time, bring them in um, and we'll see, we'll, we'll give them that space, that time and those materials for that. And that goes for any project, but we see it more in the, in the acrylic month. Um, yeah. So, and that's fine. If for some reason, Wednesday nights don't work for you, reach out to me here at Liberty or reach out to Sarah at Platte Woods. You can get to Sarah by getting to me. I mean, like we, we talk all the time. We've already talked like three times this morning. So, um, and, and we'll work out on a different time, especially for these older kids. I mean, if it doesn't work out for you to come on a Wednesday night, well, maybe they can come in during the second and third grade class that meets before their class. And that's okay too. Cause again, they're just going to be in the corner and they're just going to be painting. Like they don't need anything from us except for time, space, materials. So they can come in during another class that's happening and, and, and work on their, on their stuff. So again, we will get them done. All right. Um, Let's see, the big kids or the younger kids, our K1s and our second thirds are doing those giant abstract paintings. Most of them will finish this week. Um, we are to the point now where we have to step back. We have to look at the paintings and we have to decide what does it need because we got to end it at some point. Like you could just keep painting on this for ever and ever and ever and layer and layer and layer. But eventually you have to back up and be like, okay, what does it need? We're going to look at things. We're going to talk to your kids about balance. We're going to talk about contrast, right? So does anything like pop off or does it all just kind of fade into like all the same thing? Do you have any contrast? Do you need to add contrast? Um, we're going to talk about whether or not there's a focal point. Is there something that your eye is drawn to? And if not, do we need to add a focal point? So so those are those are kind of the finishing touches that are going onto the giant abstract paintings. Um, check social media this week because we will post lots of finished artwork of those because they're one of our favorite favorite projects that we do. Okay, coming up in February for all of the multimedia classes is printmaking month. We're actually going to have, like this month for multimedia, we had two projects. We had like K1, second, third did the same thing. And then fourth, fifth, middle school, high school did the same thing. Um, in printmaking month, I have a hard time choosing projects because I think they're all awesome. So we're actually going to have three. So K1 will do a project. Second and third will do a different project. And then the fourth, fifth, middle school, high school will do a project. So we have three different ones. And that was pared down from four. At one point in time, I had four different things going on. So printmaking is so fun, you guys. Uh, Everybody is doing some form of block or relief printing. Um, second, third graders are doing holographs. Um, I'll show all this next week. Um, K1s are going to do a combination of mono printing and relief printing. And they'll get to use some really cool metallic embossing powder and a heat gun. And then um, my big kids, my fourth, fifth, middle school, high schools are going to actually be carving um, we don't carve lino. We have in the past. Um, we're going to carve soft cut, which is a, a little bit spongier material, a little bit easier. So they are sharp tools. And the kids will get a lecture that sharp tools are a privilege. So if they can handle it, then they then we're good to go. and We got no problems. Um, if they can't handle it, don't worry. I have an alternative. Um, it uses a, a printing foam that you just carve with a pencil. So I'd rather them use the sharp tools. If you have a child that you think so like might struggle with that. You might have a little discussion with them about sharp tools or a privilege. Okay. Um, so that's coming up in printmaking month. I need to talk to you about some housekeeping stuff. So that wraps up all of our, no fundamentals. Uh, um, there's nothing to say about fundamentals, but the fact that they just don't meet this week. <laughs> there are no preschool classes this week um, because they only meet three times a month. And that was originally designed because we used to do a lot more art camps whenever the schools were out. So every time schools were out, we did an art camp and having preschoolers during the, like in their daytime classes only meet three times allowed us the flexibility to do that. Um, and then COVID hit and now we don't do nearly as many art camps during the school year, but maybe it'll come back someday or maybe we'll go to four times a month for our preschoolers. I don't know. Right now we're just kind of, you know, you know, Okay, so fundamentals classes don't meet this week. This is an off week for them. If you're in Monday's fundamentals, you actually have two off weeks because there's five Mondays in the month of January. So we met the first three. We have the next two off today and the next one. We'll see you the 7th of February. <coughs> Sound good? Let's talk housekeeping. Um, I've got a few things. One, I wanted to chat about makeups. So if you have missed some classes, even if it was two weeks ago. Um, we, we still would love to have you come make up a class if you don't 
you have time to finish your project. Now, my K1ers, my second, third graders, like if you missed a class two weeks ago, we probably got you caught up in like in class, probably. Like we probably worked to get you there. Um, but you can always ask your instructor and you can always send me a message and I can, it's like, you know, cause I know drop up and pick up is kind of crazy. I mean, you can always send me a message and I can check in with your instructor and ask like, does little Bobby need to do a makeup or are they good? Um, one way to really know if they need to do a makeup is if they don't come home with their project this week, then they need a makeup. Cause we're moving on to the next one, like the next project next week. Um, Again, if Wednesday makeups don't work for you, then reach out to me and we'll figure out an alternative for you. Okay. Um, but we do, we do want to make sure you guys are paying for classes. I want you to be here. And I know that, um, well, two things. And I say that with all the love in the world. And I know that like times are like, nobody needs one more thing on their plate. So I'm not trying to like stress you out and be like, you need to be here or anything like that. But I also don't want you paying for something you're not getting. So it's there for you. If not, we'll get you caught up in class and we'll figure it out. Um, if they can't make it to Wednesday makeups and they don't come home with their project this week, send me a message and let's talk about maybe coming in early for class or staying later for class or doubling up one week and coming to a, you know, like two class periods or we'll figure it out. Okay. Cause I, I, I hate when I end my school year and I look in the closet and I'm like, look at all the projects that never got finished. <laughs> like we're not, we're not a project based studio. But I do want you to get what you pay for. So, yeah, that's all that is. Um, my drawing people, obviously, you guys don't take a project home. Yours is just your lesson every week. I want you to get that lesson. I want you to get that exercise. I want you to get that workout, right? Because that's what drawing class is, is it's our weekly workout. So anytime, like if it was December 9th and you missed class, put in for a makeup. I've got a record of what we did on December 9th. I may not have poinsettias in the studio for you to look at, but I'll set up something similar and we'll do the lesson. Okay. All right. Um, so that's what I got for makeups. Let's talk about um, summer. So summer was posted today to this, to the website. There was an email that went out to anyone who subscribed to like certain parts of our email list. So if you've subscribed to like, I want to know upcoming classes or you subscribe to specifically the summer opt-in, <coughs> then you got an email. If not, hopefully you saw it on social media, but we did post all of summer today. So you can go on the website and you can browse summer camps. You cannot register. It is not time to register, but you can look at them and they're all there. All the classes, all the camps, all the descriptions, everything. Cancellation policy, all of it's up there. My job is done. I'm so excited. It's like January, you guys. So on it. So that is all done. Um, you can talk to your friends. You can look at calendars. You can start to plan your summer. Um, if you're a planner like me, I'm a planner. Um, I go through my calendar daily. Um, anywho, so that's there. If you have questions, reach out to me. Give me a holler. I'd love to chat with you. Um, we also have spring break camps coming up. Those tend to get overshadowed a little bit because we're talking about summer. And we'll continue to talk about summer. But um, on the 1st, which is next Tuesday, is when spring break camps open up for enrollment. So if you're interested in that, a lot of our Northland schools here have the same spring break, which is amazing for all of us here at the studio. So we do have a couple day long camps that are happening. I think the most like exciting one is graffiti camp. So you're gonna wanna come. We're super excited about that. Come spray paint. We were already talking about here in the studio, which, which wall we're gonna spray paint. I'm kind of tempted to do the hallway. I don't know. Platwoods has lots more walls than we do, you guys. We can only do this camp so many times so we're going to run out of walls. But whatever. Um, unless we expand. Which might happen. All right. That's all I got. Um, anybody else needs anything for me? Give me a holler. Otherwise, I will chat with you next Monday. Bye, guys.